So you might have come from one of my shorts, and yes, these teeth are fake, so here is how you can make your own pair. I'm using some Warbla. This is a thermoplastic, and if you use hot water or a heat gun, it's going to go and melt the beads. These are so incredibly great for sculpting and also cosplay. They're one of my favorite materials. So in saying that, I took some really hot, almost boiling water that I had in a kettle and put it into this cup here. After it had melted these pieces of plastic, which it should look completely and totally clear, and if you're going to go and work this, make sure that it's cooled down slightly. It is pretty hot. You also need to make sure it cools down slightly before you put it into your mouth so you don't hurt yourself. I formed this into a rectangle, and after it cooled down slightly, I stretched it, bended it a little bit, and I was able to put it into my mouth. I shaped this around my teeth, and at the edges, I took off any extra material that was from both sides. This should be pretty thin. This is going to be the base that we're using to go and stick down the teeth along with also the gum line after we put the teeth on. This extra material too, because this is a thermoplastic, you can go and just use that again. But before this fully and totally cools down, take your bottom teeth, bite down a couple of times, and make sure everything lines up. If there's any little pieces that are poking out, again, before this cools down, shape it around your teeth and continue to bite down a couple of more times. It's going to cool down fully and start to turn white in just about three to five minutes. As you can see, it is changed back to that white color there. It's slightly see-through, and this is perfect to go and start to use. This should be pretty thin, and you will notice that it is pretty thin. If it's a little bit too thick, it's going to look kind of funky in your mouth, so make sure it is pretty thin, and you can always remold this if it's not the size that you would like for it to be. Now I'm taking out some of these extra pieces. This was from the extra material from these sides, and I'm cutting some triangles with this. These should be just about the size of what a tooth would be, and since we made this bottom mold, you'll have indents of where the teeth were, on that mold. So I'm cutting out a couple of these pieces. I'm making sure they're pretty much almost all the same size. From what I remember, I think I sculpted about 10 teeth for this. I made sure they all came to a pretty good point. And to fully adhere them on, I heated up the end as well and then stuck it back down in place after all of them were fully sculpted. I'm also using this dental tool here. I'm creating little tiny lines in it, and I'm just pushing the material into itself before it cools down fully. Be careful when you do this too. Your water is going to be still pretty hot at this point. If it's not hot enough, you'll know pretty quickly just because this thermoplastic will not react. Now I'm just shaping these a bit more, making sure everything's pretty flat, and continuing to stick down all of the teeth. After all of the teeth have been put in place, make sure you test it. You want to make sure that it fits in your mouth properly, and if it's a little bit too long for the teeth, you can always take them back off, reshape it, and resize. Now I'm taking some red food dye, which some of you said about my video that my fingers looked like they had Cheeto dust on them or whatever. No, it's red food dye, you silly gooses. So I took some of this food dye, reheated the plastic, and I pulled this a couple of times to make some really thin pieces. These thin pieces we're going to use for the gum line. These are going to be an off pink color after everything fully and totally cools down. What I'm doing is I'm sticking down these pieces in small sections and sculpting around where the teeth are. Before this cools down and you do have to work pretty fast, so make sure you have your tools at the ready. I'm creating this little tiny gap in between the gum line and the tooth, kind of like what you would see for natural teeth. So it's a good idea to maybe have a reference up as to what a smile looks like. Again, you can see me sculpting this a little bit too, pressing in some of the plastic. And now I'm following this up with the next little piece here. And it's really easy to just line these pieces up and blend them in with each other. The hot piece of plastic on the top will easily stick to the other one, 
and it should be pretty easy to move from the teeth and sculpt around the teeth as well. If it does cool down though, you can always take this and dip it back into your water. Just don't dip the entire thing, only the front area very slightly so you can go back and maybe reshape the teeth a bit or reshape some of the gums. I'm getting these teeth slightly more pointed. Just be careful, don't get them too pointy because this is going into your mouth and you don't want to accidentally have something hard puncture into your lip or something along those lines. After those are fixed, along with also pointed, then this is pretty much ready to go. Since we heated up the plastic around this, it's going to need just one more dip in some hot to warm water. Let that cool down slightly and stick it back into your mouth. This is going to reshape everything if any of it got slightly misshapen. And you're going to want to leave it in for just about 10 to 15 minutes at this point. This is just so it fully and totally forms, but here are the final teeth. It is also still Shark Week when this video is going up, so happy Shark Week. I hope you enjoyed these teeth, and yes, again, they are, of course, fake. These fake teeth are great for Halloween cosplay, like Has Been Hotel, just saying. And they are pretty easy to go and make. Thank you all so much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and check out the description to go and check out my Domestica course. Have a good one, and bye!